I am going to be firing up the Weber kettle and we are going to be taking a chicken, spatchcocking it, giving it a great rub and grilling it up so that we can have a fantastic, juicy chicken meal. Yes, chicken time again, and we are going to be working with a five pound roasting chicken here, and we're gonna be spatchcocking it. If you don't know what that is, basically we are going to take out the spine and flatten this bird out so it cooks really evenly and it exposes all the skin to great heat on the Weber kettle. So let's turn this over and get the spine out of here. So we're working right up here, just using a good pair of scissors that can go right through bone, go right through the ribs. There we go. And right up the other side. This is good, go ahead and freeze it, use it for stock, it's perfect for that. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to turn our chicken over, get it flattened out like this, and we are going to press down on the sternum, right here on the breastbone, and you'll hear a crack. That's gonna help it flatten out when we put it out on the kettle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to another tray with a rack on it, because we're gonna be seasoning this and then putting it in the refrigerator overnight, uncovered to air dry. So the rub we're gonna be using today, the seasoning is amazing Cajun by Heaven Made Products. Great flavor in this, little bit of heat, not too much. So if you have people that really don't like super heat, but you want a little bit, this is a good rub. So we're gonna go ahead and give a very good coating on this. We're gonna turn it over briefly. Season the inside. If you have any of those little bits that stuck in there and didn't come off, just go ahead and toss them out now. And we're gonna get the inside of this, a little bit of seasoning. Again, I like to go really heavy on the seasoning when I'm doing chicken like this. Especially when it's gonna dry overnight in the refrigerator. You want that air drying to happen and the seasoning will help pull out some of the extra moisture here. You want to get some up under there go ahead i'm mostly concerned with getting a very good coating on the skin and not the meat under because i want this skin to dry out i want it to crisp up as much as possible on the kettle all right this is ready it's going to go in the refrigerator now and air dry overnight and i'll see you tomorrow out at the weber kettle All right, the Weber kettle's up to temp on this drizzly day. Let's get our chicken on. And I'm placing the legs and thighs of the chicken closer to the heat source, which is a single briquette basket filled with charcoal. Let's go ahead and get our internal temperature probe in. I'm gonna be taking the temperature in the breast today. We'll be spot checking the thighs later. Internal temperature we're shooting for, 165 degrees, just like always with poultry. Somewhere around the 140 to 150 internal range, I'm gonna be glazing this with a nice little sauce. Kettle temperature I'm shooting for today is somewhere in the 275 to 325 range. I'm not using any wood for smoke, we're just doing straight indirect grilling today. So let's get our lid on and get cooking. My bottom vent is set at about two thirds open and my top vent is set at almost fully open, maybe between three quarters and full. And I'll adjust those as necessary to sort of maintain the temperature today. So I'll see you back here when it's time to glaze this chicken. All right, we just hit 140 internal. Let's see how our chicken's doing and glaze it. That's looking pretty darn good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna brush this with a glaze. This is a super simple glaze. It's a quarter cup of maple syrup and a quarter cup of barbecue sauce. Pick your favorite barbecue sauce. Now we're not trying to make this skin all soggy with sauce. We just wanna get good little glaze on there. You can brush it on, dab it on like this, just for a little extra flavor. That looks good. 
we're gonna get our lid back on and let this finish to 165 and I'll bring you back. All right, we're at 165 internal. Let's check this chicken. That's looking really good. Let's check some temps with the instant read. Uh, thighs are showing 178. Perfect. All right, this is looking good. I'm gonna take this off, let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna cut into it. All right, here is our spatchcock chicken, indirect grilled. It really smells good right now. There's something about that glaze at the end which just really brings out that aroma. And we're gonna cut right into this because it wasn't supposed to rain today, but it's starting to rain. So let's go ahead and just separate a leg quarter here first. Because as I've said many times, the thigh meat's my favorite part on a chicken. But I do wanna cut into this breast meat too. Let's go ahead. Cut, slice out of here. Oh yeah, that is looking good. Cut a couple slices. Still a lot of moisture in there. Now let's get down to some of that thigh meat. Oh yeah, that skin turned out pretty crispy. Let's see. Giving the chicken that time to air dry in the refrigerator with a good rub on it really does help you avoid that rubbery skin. And because I'm fighting the weather right now, it's time to taste. So I'm gonna go in for a nice piece of that breast meat. Let's see. That amazing Cajun rub from Heaven Made Products really comes through in this, plus giving it that time overnight in the refrigerator to really absorb all those flavors, just fantastic. Mm, now for some thigh, let's see. that extra fat you get in that dark meat. It just can't be beat to help retain the moisture. And doing chicken indirect is my favorite way to do it. I don't like to direct grill chicken. You can get fantastic results doing it indirect, get great color as you can see from these pieces of chicken, and you really do help avoid drying it out. Mm. So if you want really juicy chicken and skin that is not rubbery, give it a try to spatchcock it, give it a great rub, air dry it in the refrigerator overnight, get it on the kettle or any grill indirect, and you're gonna have fantastic chicken that is juicy with crispy skin.